The goal is to make sure you are safe wherever you are. That may mean knowing where the nearest exit is. Joining us now is Chris Bergoni and Tony Benedictus with Executive Security Concepts. Good morning. How are you two doing today? Good morning, Keith. So tell me, uh, what is situational awareness? Situational awareness is basically you taking in your environment and processing the information it's giving you so that you can make a conscious decision on a safer or more productive route. And tell me, I understand there's a tier system um, when it comes to situational awareness. Do either one of you mind breaking that down for me? Yeah, we use a color code of awareness to where you people walk around in white all the time. We joke about seeing people on cell phones walking into fountains or things like that. That's not being aware of your surroundings, and that's what we call a white level of awareness. We don't want to be in white. We want to be in a yellow state of awareness, which means you're conscious of everything around you, you're noticing things. And then after yellow, you go to orange. If you see something that's a little bit hinky or something that just doesn't look right, you go to that orange level. And then, of course, red is when something has happened. And tell me, why should people leave the house on yellow? Do you mind telling me about that? Tony, I'll throw that to you. Sure, sure. Yellow means you're more aware. You're, you're observing your surroundings, and you can forecast any problems. And then moving into orange is when you would act upon a certain situation that you see. If you think about traffic and you're driving and you're on white, you see a lot of people rear-ending each other, missing turns. But if you're yellow, you're paying attention. You're able to see traffic ahead of you stopping, and you can react to it. Orange is actually when you're reacting, you're more aware because a situation has happened when you see an accident in front of you. So it's the same thing if you're in a mall or hiking in the woods and there's, you see an animal or you're in a mall and there's a, some type of fight, you can avoid that because you're looking ahead and using your awareness to pay attention to what's going on around you instead of being focused and being in the white like Chris said. And I understand that you are teaching a situational awareness class. Talk to me about that. Yes, ma'am. So we're on April 6th. Yes. Uh, we're doing it at the boardroom at the center of the square. It's a four-hour class. Uh, and if you want to go to Executive Security Concepts, you can go there and sign up. Uh, I, it's an in-person. I'll be teaching the course myself. And uh, we talk about all the different levels, how to get yourself comfortable, and use what you've already been given uh, to and really tap into your, your psyche and your conscious to pay attention more and to prevent a lot of the common issues that we run into every day. And I understand, Chris, that you are teaching an active shooter class. Uh, tell me about that. We don't have much time, but tell me about that. Yeah, I do active shooter mitigation consulting, but I wanted to really talk. Tony has just an immense amount of experience from the U.S. Army as a counterintelligence agent. And I think people in the area would really uh, benefit from taking this class, especially as dangerous the world is right now. And Tony, tell me, when is that class again? It's April 6th, and it's going to be held at the center in the square in the boardroom. And again, if you go to Executive Security Concepts, you can sign up there. All right. Well, thank you both. Thank, thank you. you both for coming here. Thanks for here. having us. Thank you. Thank you.